Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercress, and welcome back to Let's Play Who Framed Roger Rabbit. After playing for about uh, two hours, that's how long it took me to find the last will piece off screen. Turns out it was also in a cave. Turns out if you go in a cave and you don't see the snake immediately, you are a jerk. That means you have to go further to the right in order to see him. And he may be hiding a will page there. That's exactly what happened in the footage that I put before all of this. And because of this, I'm now here at Judge Doom's Fortress. I'm going to pull out the baseball here. Throw it. Go up and to the left. And here we are, the battle with Judge Doom, right there. Now, your items... There's the will there, by the way. Your items will have no effect. Also, the woman that we have to give the heart, heart to in the hotel is useless, and... What else? Well, you can stay to the sides of the Toontown roads in order to keep from being killed, or run over, or... caught by the weasels or anything. Is there anything else? Yeah, about, yeah, my theory of one place per quadrant, one piece of will per quadrant is pretty much in front of the window there. So if, you can, uh, if you're up to three will pieces and you need one more, just look everywhere. You'll eventually find it. So anyway. And if I could actually move and do this at the same time, that'd be great. Basically what Judge Doom does is that he basically stares daggers at you. And I'm having a horrible time doing this. And he's jumping back and I do not want to be near him when he does that. And I almost got him right there on the wall there, but I think I can still hit him. Maybe. Oh, I still got it there. Awesome. Nope, 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 nope. Well, I had a pattern right there. It is possible to, m to power up the, the strength of your punch just enough, and then if you can get it into a rhythm, kind of like that, if you can keep on going, you can just destroy his life bar just in a matter of seconds and I'm finding it really hard to speak because I am really concentrating here and I'm trying to get that rhythm I was able to pull it off earlier but for some reason, I can't really seem to do it now. Maybe I just need to be not as fast when I pressed it, or something. Maybe I just need to pull, hit him like twice and then move away. It is possible to trap him in the corner and do the whole repeated max strength shots. But unless you know what you're doing and you're pretty good with the timing, I wouldn't recommend doing it. But as you can see here, we've done this in about eight videos. We have come pretty far. And I am not ashamed. I thought I was going to have to give up on this game. It is good to know that this is not the case at all anymore. And if you're wondering what I had to do to get past the weasel there, I just had to equip the baseball, throw it in one direction, and then quickly move in a, di in a diagonal direction to the door leading to Judge Doom's lair. That's pretty much all I had to do. And of course you do want to get away from him eventually because he will rear a fist back, and if he does, that's your cue to get away from him. And I did 
not expect him to do that so soon. It's pretty random how he does this. Also, the thing he's doing is staring daggers at you. That's actually from the movie. And that's his main attack, if he's not using his fist. And you, you don't want to get hit by the fist, because you can see just how powerful it is right there. Nope. Nope. I'm going to have to power that up again. I am not doing so well. I should mention that, Doc, that there are two eyes. To, to these two sets of red and white eyes. There's one on the left and there's one on the right. The one on the left is Doom's. The one on the right is ours. And whoever has their eyes reach the middle first is the loser. Also, when you get over here, it says the word N, where it should show the current amount of punchlines you have. And I knew he was going to try to do something like that. And slowly getting closer and closer. And yeah, that's what happens, that's what it looks like when you mess it up right there. So let's try this again. We're gonna do this. And hopefully I won't be as errant with the punches. Ah. You also don't want those daggers that he stares at you to hit you either. That's... That should be obvious. So let's do this again. Thankfully we got three, a whole new fresh set of lives to work with. I knew he was going to do that. If he, if he leaps back before shooting the daggers at you, they're going to go twice as far as they would normally. And I can't hit you! I can't hit him multiple times. Having Not having a very good time here, as you can see. Can you hit him, please? And I can't get away from him when he does that. And they had to be maximum strength, otherwise they'll have no effect. That's just how it is. I'm waiting for him to make a move. There we go. And I can't hit him! I'm not doing any damage to him! Which is absolutely aggravating. Do I have to pin him in, in, uh, into the wall? Trying to get that timing back again. Getting him down a little more, but it still ain't working. Ugh. Oh, this is excruciating. Why did the developers think this was a good idea? This is not exactly what I consider a very good game. Come on. Please. I'm considering using a portable hole on him, if I can find one. I can't even do that. Again, I have a whole new fresh set of lives to work with. I just can't seem to get, 
get, get the pattern down. I can't get the seam, get, get seem to get the rhythm down, and I'm not liking this at all. And if you would just shoot the projectile at me, that'd be great. Ow! That did nothing. Maybe you're just supposed to have weak punches the whole time. This is excruciating. This is absolutely excruciating. Hit him! Eddie, hit him! Eddie, hit him! And I can't... He does it again as soon as he does the first one. And I had him right there. Now he's st still doing even more damage to me than I'm doing to him. No. Get over there. Get away from him. Get. Oh my gosh, Eddie. Eddie, what are you doing, lad? What are you doing, lad? What are you doing? It's like this has just suddenly turned me British like the developers are rare. Get over... No. There we go. There we go. I'm starting to get that a little bit. And now he's closer to the middle than I am. I can't believe I'm doing this. I really can't believe I'm doing this. No. That was terrible. I couldn't get away from that. It feels like a big gamble what you're going to be able to do and what he's going to do when you do this. There we go. Okay. Go, go, go. Go down. Get up here. Grab the dip cannon. Now, we need to equip the dip cannon. There it is. Yeah! Up yours! Woo! Toontown is saved and remains in the hands of its rightful owners, the Toons. The end. I don't care if my voice peaked. I don't care if my apartment neighbors think I'm insane. This got done in eight videos. Take it to the bank. frustrating T getting the will pieces takes forever I recommend having a checklist like I did to see what you have oh yeah that's right I forgot the game doesn't keep track of whether or not you had the dynamite and the whistle when you died so if you lose all your lo all your continues you have to find those items all over again that's what I was meant to say. And some of the ways and the ways to get extra hints from people are useless. You're better at just looking around, keeping track of everything you have and how much you have of it. 
remembering where you found will pieces, and remembering that if you need to find just one more will piece to look everywhere. Because my theory of one piece being in Burbank, one piece being in a city park, one piece being in a Judge Doom factory area, and one piece being in the Toontown area, that kind of went out the window because I ended up finding two of them in City Park. So much for that. And I can't believe I managed to beat Judge Doom on the second try. There is a way to, to uh, basically keep the punches going forever and ever and just keep them in the wall for all eternity. But that's really hard to do. You're better off just getting like two or three punches in and then just moving right out and then just wait, just keeping a close eye on them as you approach them again. As for the dip cannon part itself, you have to keep pressing the B button. Otherwise, you won't be able to hit him repeatedly with the dip cannon. And Judge Doom will insta-kill you regardless of how much health you have. And you'll have to do that fight all over again. And that's pretty much all that there is to say on all that front. Now for how this game measures up. This is a very tough game, and for some bad reasons. Because of the RNG, the randomness of all the items involved. See the will pieces. I wish the fighting mechanism was done just a little bit better. Exploring is alright, but I wish there what just wasn't so much stuff out to kill you. And I like the punchline idea, it looked like a good idea, but it just wasn't executed properly. Because the more you get caught by the weasels, the more jokes you're going to have to go through, and the more answers you're going to have to pick through, and eventually find the right one in. Everything looks okay. The gameplay leaves something to be desired. The sound is what you'd expect from a Rare developed game. It says program and audio visuals by Rare. They developed the game. They they were they, they knew how to make songs on the they knew how to make music on the NES hardware. They they knew what they were doing, at least on that front. And I really don't see why you'd want to play this game again unless you really wanted to frustrate yourself again. Or you forgot why this game was frustrating. And you probably need a reminder of why it is frustrating. Do yourself a favor. Watch the movie. Or better yet, go play the Game Boy game. There is a Game Boy game. And it is by Capcom. Not by LJN and Rare. So because of that, you're gonna, you know you're going to get a, a much better experience. I mean, your mileage may vary, but it's going to be a better experience than what you just saw me go through. And I know this music is just going on forever and ever and ever. I'm just letting this tile stream just play on and play on. But I just need to get all this out. And there you go. Get it if you want, but don't be surprised if this game kicks you straight in the keister. Uh, oh my gosh. Now this is the part where I would say, this I would be back with another game hopefully, and that maybe it'll be good, bad, or somewhere in between, but you know what, forget it. It's gonna be better than this, whatever I pick. Then again, I could unintentionally pick much worse. But do stay tuned for another game. Because you will probably get one. Until then, this has been Let's Play Who Framed Roger Rabbit for NES. This is Prince Watercress. Take care. Stay safe. Thanks for watching. See you guys later, and thank the deities it's just finally over. <laughs>